Welcome back to Soccer.com, guys. Today, we're joined by Hector Moreno. Hector, thanks so much for having us in your house. Thank you guys for having me. It's a pleasure for me. Cool, are you ready to answer some rapid fire questions? I'll do my best. Okay, <laughs> let's go. We want to know a little bit about the man behind the player. So my first question for you Tell is, me. what would you be doing if you weren't a professional football player? I wish, what I wish it was I would be a singer. I always said that, but my talent is not to be a good singer, but I wish I could be a good singer if I wasn't a footballer. Okay, and a specific type of music? Eh, I don't know, that depends on the mood. But as I'm from Culiacán, it could be, because with all the respect, they don't sing the best, they're not the best performance singer, so the banda would be okay. a good option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, sure. that okay. would be. So, speaking of hidden talents, do you have a hidden talent that maybe people don't know so much about? No, I'm working on something that I will try to introduce you guys later. I'm trying to play the guitar and start to learn. Really? So that's gone with the I don't have the ability, I don't have the talent, but I, I wish I could I can I can improve and I can do it properly. Okay, well the next time we meet we'll be expecting some mm -hmm. guitar. I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> and you you don't have a fear obviously of singing. I know some clubs have a ritual of getting new players to mm -hmm. sing an initiation song. Mm -hmm. Do you have a specific song that you would choose or a go-to song if you were going to sing karaoke or something I like that? I don't know why. I never did that. I saw a lot of them and I did to other teammates when they they joined the club, but I never did it. I you did they, it? No, I never. Okay. They never put me on a stage. I don't know why. <laughs> but a good song for me, I don't know. Something that the people will try to sing along. I don't know. Maybe it's annoying, but it should, it should be like, Quisiera volver a amar, volver a querer, volver a tener cerca de mi yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like this. I don't know how you do know this. Yeah, I don't know. But something <laughs> like the people will sing along and they're not have fun. Okay, yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay, moving on to more of a football specific question now. Can you remember back to the hardest opponent that you've ever faced on a football pitch? Who would that be? Tough one because I've been, I don't know if it's lucky or unlucky enough to play against the, the very best. And I play against Messi, Cristiano, but they are not really center forwards, you know. Mm -hmm. One center forward I played many games against him and I had a very difficult time, I, I, will, I will say, it would be Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez. I faced him oh, when we were in Holland mm -hmm. and also when we were in, the, in Spain in the league. Wow, yeah, okay. it, was very, it was very tough for him. Yeah. Still, it. still it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, amazing player. Yes, fantastic. Okay, and moving back to home life now. Mm -hmm. Favorite home cooked meal? What would you go for? Favorite home meal? I will go with a pasta that my wife makes. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter. It has to be. It doesn't have to be like white or red. So when she cooks for me, I like it. You know, she doesn't do very often, but <laughs> <laughs> she will. Do you but know yeah, she's I watching like, this yeah, video? I know. <laughs> no, no, I love it when she cooks, and especially like pre pre game meal. I don't know. She puts a lot of effort and love to eat, so I love it. Okay, so Hector, we know you're a very busy man. When you get a day off, what are you doing on that day off? Uh, I'm very boring. But uh, because I, as I just told you, you know, I have like like a special things so or special hidden talents or whatever. I have a lovely family. I have three children, and I just rather spend the time with them. You know, it's boring for some people. For me, it's the, the best thing I can do. You know, for, I've been also lucky enough to be for a long time in national team, and so many so uh, no many holidays. So when I have the time to, to, to have a day off or to spend time with my family, I'd rather do that than do something else, you know. Mm. I try to do as much. For me, it's very difficult to be at home and, I don't know, I was telling you, I want to learn how to play guitar. But I cannot because if I'm home, I'd rather spend time with them, play with them or sure. do whatever thing I have to do with my children. So that, that's me. Okay. Yeah. And you mentioned holidays just in there as well. What is your favorite holiday destination? Where would you go if you could choose anywhere in the world? I think it should be a beach, something on the yeah. beach. Yeah, I like it. I don't like to go on the on, on the beach, but like the idea to, to be on the on the sea, on the on the on the sand, and or having some drink with my friends, with my wife, or with my children, wherever. 
uh, I think that would be my ideal because I never been some some places. You know, I yeah. I wish and I'm dying to go to the mountains with a with snow. Yeah. I never been there, so I don't know if I will like it or not. But I I I, I think that would be my next destination. Like, okay. Next destination. Yeah. So Hector, are you a Netflix watcher? What are you watching on Netflix at the moment? I am a fan. I try not to be as much as I did before because I try to read more and study more. But I think the last the last one I saw was Billions. Billions? Okay. Yeah, I haven't watched I, it. I, it's a very good yeah. one. You will like it. Yeah. And I'm waiting for a six season here in Mexico. I, I think in the US they already have the six season, so I'm waiting here in Mexico to do it. Okay. All right. Turning our attention now to FIFA. Let's go. Do you play FIFA? A little bit. I used to do it also before my children were born. Now yeah. it's not, not plenty of time, but uh, I'm not good, I'm not bad, I'm just in the middle. I can play and not get beaten, but mm -hmm. also I know I, I'm not going to be the champion if we play a tournament. Yeah. Okay. And are you the type of guy that as soon as the new FIFA comes out, you're checking like, what are my stats on FIFA? Like, is my speed gone up or I, I used to do, I used to do that before. Like also like my ego was bigger. <laughs> I was hoping always to, to get, to be one of the best Mexican. Now I, I, I don't care anymore. I don't see, I don't, I don't buy any new things. If somebody give it for me, I take it. Or with my wife also, you know, like she gives us a person for me. Yeah. I, I'm very happy. But it's not like I go, I'm waiting for the new ones or the stats to play or whatever. Before I used to, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure I was waiting always to, to see if I was like on the top of Mexican. So I also have to see, to complain if they miss something, you know. Of course. Of my or speed, defense, or passing, the, the things that I think I can, I can do better. So for sure. Yeah. So moving now to the Mexican national team. You've spent a long time as part of La Selección. Do you have a best friend or someone who that you're who you're closest with in that team? Ooh, good question. I've had a very good friends. I still am, uh, and unlucky for us, they are not part of it uh, at the moment because I spend a lot of time with them. You know, with Gio Dos Santos, Carlos Vela. We spent uh, we played together the under 17 World Cup. Uh, Chicharito was part of that also. Mm -hmm. He didn't go to the World Cup, but after just after the, this championship, he started going to the under 20. So mm -hmm. it's been like 15 years playing together. And I'm lucky for us that they, they are not with us anymore. And from then, I also developed. Uh, it brought a good uh, friendship with Hector Herrera. It's okay. been also like. Memo Choa, Andres Guardado, it's the people who has been the longest there, you know, and also for sure we know each other for quite a long time. We know a lot of things about each other. We we suffer, we had joy, we did everything together. So I think has this kind of bond to each other and helps to, to have a great relationship. Yeah. Okay, next question for you. If you had to choose one player in the history of world football, could be still playing, could be retired, who are you going to choose to play alongside you? It's a good one. If I have to say somebody from Mexico, I would say Rafa Marquez. Mm -hmm. And I was lucky enough to play with him many years with the national team, to learn from him, to be coached by him during the game, so even how to the pitch to, to learn a lot of things. And I, I always say that he was my idol and you know, it was perfect for me. It was amazing. Yeah. And from the whole world, uh, Canavaro, I always like him when I was growing up, when I choose how oh, they put me to, to be a center back. Uh, he was on his best. Uh, he won the Ballon d'Or and he was doing fantastic. He won the World Cup with Italy. He was the, the, the main guy there in the defense. Even though they had fantastic defenders, he was the, the boss. And I would love to be able to play with him for at least one, one game. That would be a great uh, center back. Yeah, no. <laughs> Two, not so big guys, but uh, I hope. I think you guys could do a great job. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> okay, so you've played all around the world at different clubs. Can you tell me, is there a favorite country that you've lived in, and which one? Which one would you choose? Um, I live in amazing countries. I cannot complain, <laughs> but I think. Uh, Spain it was fantastic in both cities, Barcelona and San Sebastian. It's just great weather, fantastic competition, good teams that I 
I, I was able to play, so I won't change for nothing. You know, if you ask me one team, I would say PSV because I was the, I had the opportunity to play for the cup, for the title mm -hmm. of the Champions League, and all these kind of things for a footballer that is important. But to live, I will I will say Spain. Spain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not a good I have choice. to say my wife is from there also. You know? Oh really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you're looking back over your career now. Do you have one special memory that sticks out above the rest? Is there like a, a favorite memory from your footballing career? So For far? sure. I have two. Mm. One is not, it's professional, but I was under 17. So that's, uh, uh, when I, when we won the, the World Championship in, in Peru with the under 17 with Mexico, the first time Mexico won a, a championship, it, 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 even though it was under, uh, under 17 years old and for me it was amazing, it changed my life, it changed everything for me because when the day after I arrived from Peru, I was going up to the first team from Pumas mm -hmm. and that changed everything, you know, because maybe if I don't go there, even if we win, if we play the final and we lose, for sure, I'm sure I'm not going to be with the first team already, you know, from Pumas. It will take a long time, it will take more time, I don't know, it, during this period I will lose my opportunity or somebody Everything can ha could happen, and this accelerate everything to, to for me to be a part of the first team. And the second one, and I think the most important for me, or the most emotional, it, it, it is when we were uh, singing the anthem in the first game I started in the World Cup. It was in South Africa against France. Yeah, it was just amazing. I get chills every time I, I think about it because we were in South Africa. I don't know which. Which city was a strange name, I cannot say the name. Uh, it was full of Mexicans, the stadium. We were playing against France, one of the top teams always you, you wanna face and you think, okay, they're they are the one of the the teams that are going to fight for the title. So I was starting my first game, I think I was 21, 22 years old. Mm -hmm. it's, everything happened. And in this, I don't know how long it lasts, two minutes of the anthem. Uh, my whole life it passed through my eyes, you know, like what I ran when I started with my grandpa, with my grandpa, who they brought me to training, and all these kind of things that how much I was running for under 17, how much I, I suffered because I moved from my hometown, from Culiacan to Mexico City when I was 15 years old, and all these kind of things happened in these two minutes, you know, it was just amazing, just a, a feeling that I will never forget, and it keeps always in my mind and my heart. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. And um, I've heard that the Mexican fans travel very well as well. So you're obviously pretty well supported um, yes. at that, that first lucky. game in uh, South lucky. Africa. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> South Africa it was, uh, for me, it has been amazing that I've been in three World Cups and South Africa very far away. And we're playing, I told you, against France. You would think, okay, France is a big team. They wouldn't have a lot of South African support. Oh. Full it's full of Mexicans, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> We are playing in Brazil against the Brazil in the group phase. Uh, half half. Okay, you cannot fight against, but really? half half wow. is a big thing. You know, you are playing against Brazil in Brazil. And the, the last one, we are playing in, in Moscow against Germany. I think it was 80% Mexicans in a wow. stadium of, I don't know, 70,000 people. In Moscow, it, it's, it's something amazing. For me, really? it's just uh, the, the, the best thing that we can live as a footballer is to represent your country in a World Cup and even though in this kind of a scenario with all these people, all these Mexican fans that, that are crazy enough to, to sell everything they have to just to go and support your, your, your country or your team. Yeah. So we have a lot of jerseys behind us here yes. with your name on it. Yep. Um, do you have a specific jersey that is your favorite from your collection? It looks like you have obviously a lot of your own jerseys. Do you have yeah, it's a it's collection from others? This other? one. The one, the one from Mexico, is especially from because of, it's the one I wear on the game I told you with the, against France oh, okay. in South Africa. It's written here in France, Seven. Mexico, June 17, 2010. Polo, Polo Guane is the city of okay. the where we play. <laughs> and for me, this is it's special, you know, because I was saying it, it gives me back, bring me back everything, like where I, how much I wore, how much my family wore, how much. My, the people around for me suffered because I was living home very, very young and everything. So this, this brings me everything back. Yeah. Beautiful. And finally, 
If you look back again on your career, uh, what would you say the best piece of advice that you've received has been? Is there a piece that sticks with you from a coach or maybe maybe a family member, anything like that? Well, I've received many and I, I, I try to keep all the good ones. I never give up. I, but it's, it sounds like cliche, but I, I think it's the, 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 the very best. It doesn't matter if football or basketball or even actress or whatever uh, profession, they, 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 they follow by the same rules, you know, never give up, work hard, uh, be patient, uh, be ready, you know, because sometimes you don't have the opportunity when you think you are ready, but if you give up then when you get the opportunity, you are not going to be ready, so you, you are gone. So these kind of things, I think it's, it's like all this, how do you say, the, the habits, the, the small, simple habits that you can live your life, your, your life by. This is the most important thing. Okay, finalmente, un mensaje en español. Okay. Uh, no sé si, si puedes decir algún mensaje a, a la afición que te va a apoyar en, en Qatar este, este invierno. Mm, bueno, un saludo muy afectuoso a toda la gente de la afición mexicana que, como comentaba recientemente, nos apoya siempre, y especialmente en los mundiales. Eh, les agradezco de antemano su apoyo, eh, que estén convencidos de que la selección, o sea, quien sea que esté eh, en el mundial, les dará siempre lo mejor para representar a, a México de, dignamente. Y esperamos que ustedes estén contentos y satisfechos con el resultado que tengamos. Perfecto. Listo. Pues muchas gracias. Gracias. Sí, sí. <laughs> guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time.